Welcome back to the channel. Very excited today because we finally have Winter Contingency 3 live and with us here in Halo Infinite. Not sure what exactly to expect from this update other than some new maps and obviously the new free battle pass. Let's jump ahead into the menus and have a look and see what we actually get. Do we get a new playlist? Uh, how is this going to break down with the weekly challenges? Let's see. So first off, uh, for some reason, ah, there we go, it hadn't loaded. So annoying, actually, that you have to pay 500 points to get this awesome uh, coating. I actually really like this ice, icy uh, blue with the broken bits in it. I, I do enjoy that. Obviously, um, we can also just buy the outright pass. We're going to have a look through the battle pass as we go. We're not going to buy for it, buy it though. Bosh, okay, I love the background. I've already rocking a, a, a kind of winter effect on my my spot in there. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, the weekly challenges here. Just the standard thing, it looks like. Killing spree, complete matches, and multi-kill. Same old, same old there. Now let's see if we get a playlist. We do not get a playlist. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here, why we haven't got a new playlist. So we know we've got live fire covered in ice. We know this has happened. I'm sure there are other maps. Is it just one map? I don't... There's no way they've just given us one map. Right, I can't, I can't find any information on maps other than live fire. I'd be so annoyed if it's just one map covered in snow. The shop's kind of cool because there's actually quite a lot of new stuff in the shop well I, I'm, I don't even want to look at that because i want to play on some different variations of maps let me just try and try and figure out what's going on here with this update so i've gone through custom games to see if there's something else but it, it literally is just snowfire that is so <laughs> disappointing they've released uh one one new map i'm gonna just jump into it because god knows how it's not on a playlist so you know, how long will it take us to find Snowfire in, in matchmaking? Let's have a run around and see what we get here. So it looks pretty awesome. I don't know why they've done this with just one map. I literally, I don't want to hammer the point home, but I'm so disappointed with this winter contingency event. Like, they've just put snow textures from from Forge on this, right? And maybe these are new items. That's pretty funny. That, that new snow, snow dome thing's kind of glitched them out. Uh, so these are not breakable. And they're not actually where the dummies were. So they're a bit more spaced out where dummies used to be up here. Um, so running around now, it's almost identical outside of, the outside of the dummies. It actually is identical by the looks of things. Let's take a quick peek inside. Obviously, you wouldn't expect snow in here. And uh, there isn't anything new inside here. So I quite like the background. The new background looks kind of cool with uh, the snowy effects. And I mean, they've even put ice down there. Really poor job on that ice though. As you can see, it's uh, gone a bit messed up actually. So yeah, this uh, the, the disappointment has turned into disbelief almost really. They've just put a little, I mean, this is like the, the least amount of effort that you could possibly think of turning in a map into a snow map is basically what they've done, and they've just done it with one map. <laughs> I never noticed that that had uh, Avery Johnson's name on it. That's pretty cool. So, all right. Well, let's see if we can play a game on this, because it's going to play identical to... Oh, so one thing I have noticed, though, there is a King of the Hill fire hi Firefight Legendary, so we will be trying that at some stage, but I just want to play on the new... So maybe there's King of the Hill maps. I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, for some reason, they've kept it as live fire rather than snow, the snowy one. And all these are the exact same still, so no new maps there either. Is there any new ones on here? So potentially Waterworks is new. Uh, I don't often play squad battles, so I'm not entirely sure about that one. So we've got Snowfire has been put into the quick playlist three times, it looks like. But there's so many maps in here. You know, you've got three out of 30 now. Maybe even less so chance of playing that. So I popped on the old training mode here just to see how it feels with other people because I tried playing a few maps uh, matches and I just couldn't find a match uh, that was on this map. So, I mean, I just don't understand. It's just such a poor job 
that they've done visually on it. I mean, it is cool that we've got some snow. That is, you know, something that everybody has wanted. Whoops. That was bad, bad. It's a bit of variety, but, like, I'm sure they could have done this snowy theme on literally dozens of maps. Or, like, at least five or six maps and just made a Winter Contingency 3 playlist. I really... Because, um, I mean, they've spent, you know, an hour decorating this. Putting on, you know, the new snowy type environment. They've, they've not spent long at all doing it. So why not just do it on a bunch of maps? One person could have done four or five different maps with the snowy aesthetic and called it a playlist. So I'm so, I'm so disappointed now. I just I I don't even really care to to play, you know, grind the battle pass because. I just assumed... What the hell is going on? I just assumed that we were going to have a few maps like this. Uh, leave a comment down below of what you think of the fact that there is no playlist of any new variety of, of maps. There's no... I know I know, I know. know Season 6 is coming. Uh, like four weeks away, is it? Maybe? But um, I still would have expected... Something slightly more, because they—it's like they've done—they've done one good thing, which is the bow pass. It looks awesome. There's actually a bunch of new stuff in it that I want, and I'm—I am—I am still going to grind it. Let's let's be honest. So there is a bunch of new stuff in there that I want, and I'm going to play with. I'm going to actually equip the last battle pass operation, um, combined arms. I didn't want anything in that whole battle pass. Now I want. I don't know, maybe six of the 20 pa uh, levels I want to actually use. But they've given me no variety other than this map to play it on. I know there's Legendary Firefight, but that doesn't count talking about standard multiplayer. So now let me, because I've already looked at the Battle Pass and I did that first, but I'm going to put forward my disappointment and talk about the, these maps being... Well, non-existent. Also, why have they not changed... I know it's season 5 home screen. So why have they not changed this intro screen? But then they have changed this menu's background. Doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, hopefully you've liked this video. And uh, if you have, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment on what you think about this battle pass operation. Now let's have a look at the actual battle pass. Oh, Okay, so that, yes, so that is the bonus one that you have to pay 500 points for, which I really like. It's got this cool glow, but we don't want to spend 500 points on that. Bearing in mind, 500 points is only about £4, so it's not actually that much. I am kind of tempted to do it. It is pretty cool. But let's see what we get then. So we get this background, which is pretty basic and boring. XP boost, which is completely pointless. This lion, I like this. A snow leopard, maybe, is it? I, I like this as a as a emblem. That's pretty cool. And, of course, the snowman. Grunt snowman. That is epic. Um, but we're talking about a little niff-naff and trivia here. Here comes our first major thing. Icy veins on the assault rifle. Is this on all guns, or is it just the assault rifle? It says multi, but you never know. They don't always apply to every, every gun. Another XP boost. Uh, another snowflake background, snowflake kind of weird emblem. It's kind of cool though. It's got forerunner-y type vibes. And we've got a Mark Seven chess place, uh, chess piece here. Tactical presentation. Don't really like that. Oh, nice though. Gift wrapped coating. Now this is pretty cool. Again, it says this is multi. We definitely are going to be rocking that on level ten. Another XP boost. Snowboarding <laughs> Spartan, which is is all right if you want a new picture uh a ball ball sticky grenade i actually do like these on the mark 7 armor with the snowflake embedded that is actually quite nice oh and winter mint green so another really nice coating now we've got two really nice coatings in this again this one says multi i don't think i need to buy the one for 500 which is kind of a bit bad really because if they <laughs> hear that it's going to put them off and again, we've got gift wrapping on the belt here, as well as a nice little 
snowflake emblem and of course candy canes on the back that is pretty cool looking at some gloves here got uh, again the emblem edged in moving forward to the last two bits one being candy cane shoulder pads which is pretty pretty okay actually i quite like that and then of course winter night as a, as a father christmas helmet that is pretty awesome as well i will be using that I'm hoping it changes color depending on what kind of uh, armor you've got because the gray is pretty horrible. And obviously in the all the promo material, it is white. And I quite like that as well, actually. I'm not one for different colored visors, but that is pretty cool. Okay, guys, that will wrap this video up. Slightly disappointed, but it is what it is, I guess. Leave a comment down in the description, in the comments, and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.